Hello everyone, welcome to part two of our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. In this video, we'll be talking in details about the export and import process between 3D Max and Unreal Engine. In our example here that I have put uh, a link for it to download in the description below, it's a basic modern villa. Uh, you can you have the free will to change the design or uh, proceed with what we have or if you would rather use your own model and follow uh, our same steps that we're gonna start with so before we start with the export process I would like to share with you some uh, of the recommended uh, ideas that you should follow um, like for example the unit setup inside 3d max before you proceed with importing your model or starting with the modeling make sure it's made for one equal centimeters as this is the unreal engine uh, unit also uh, if you have imported your uh, model from sketchup as most of uh, us as a, as a 3d artist do uh, make sure that uh, your objects are, are correctly flipped and this is uh, obviously shown and the red color if it's brighter it means that it's in the right x normals if it's wrongly flipped it's gonna show a darker color so make sure it's flipped to the brighter color as uh, this will not give you any artifacts inside unreal engine also it is recommended if you are planning to use this uh, displacement in your uh, scene and make sure that you have enough segments so uh, displacement will give you a decent result uh, in your uh, object I put an example here to show you what I mean on the right side it's a material with the uh, tessellation amount this is actually the parameter that alter the amount of the displacement inside our engine on the left side you can see two different planes the one on the left the no, sorry the one on the right have a fewer segments so it has a poor uh, implication of the displacement and the one on the left side have a, a higher uh, segments rate so it shows a correct uh, value of the displacement also uh, make sure that your objects are aligned together in terms of vertex touching the other vertex uh, so you will not get any light bleeding below uh, this, this uh, gap that you could affect your lighting bake and uh, no uh, overlap faces because this could uh, give you flickering while you're working inside Unreal Engine UVs are very important to have it before you export your model uh, so I think if you have all your objects selected and apply UV with a, an acceptable amount it will help you adjust your material inside Unreal Engine also make sure that you have your uh, project layered in a, in a better way for you to see it inside Unreal Engine if this is uh, as you can see here in our model if it's layered like a villa landscape or for nature it's gonna show up in Unreal Engine and your uh, if you export it in the same uh, layered process it will show up in the same layering uh, order and this also will improve our working uh, inside Unreal Engine. Okay, before we move to the export process, make sure that you have installed uh, DataSmith for you, for 3D Max or for SketchUp or Revit or um, Rhino, depending on what you're gonna choose for your export process. Uh, I put a link in the description below for you to head and go to the a page to, the, to download the plugin so it's basically a straightforward illustration just make sure to close the software uh, before you install it and when you start back we gonna start exporting our uh, project here by showing only the villa so I'm gonna select the whole uh, villa objects and go to file export selected and uh, basically I will save it in, uh, as a three, uh, data smith extension as you can see here I already exported uh, our project 
uh, and the same layered uh, order so uh, you can start exporting uh, your, uh, your the, the same model and uh, then we're gonna start moving to Unreal Engine you're gonna go to Epic Game Launcher launch from go to library and launch your engine once you launch it you're gonna start with this uh, interface where it shows create a new project so we have different categories obviously we're gonna go to architectural and we're gonna hit next uh, the three panels here the three temples as you can see shows uh, a different uh, options for you to start with I prefer to start with a blank template so we can start from scratch and we're gonna hit next uh, before we go ahead with the project settings uh, make sure that you start your project with a starter content it's always good to start with a few uh, of our of, uh, of Unreal Engine uh, start content like the materials and some of the other stuff for the ray trace disabled and enabled, this is basically a feature that was introduced in Unreal Engine uh, at the end of 2018 after Nvidia launched their RTX cards. It's one of actually the coolest uh, features now in Unreal Engine. We're going to talk in details about this later on in, uh, in our next course. But for this course, we're going to start with the ray trace disabled. So after that, name your project without any space. If you click any space between the object, uh, between sorry, between the names, you will get an error message shows that you cannot put a space inside Unreal Engine. And hit create project. Once the project start up, uh, you're gonna see uh, the Unreal Engine uh, templates, the, the template that we have choose with fewer of the tools that uh, Unreal Engine provide you with the default startup. So in a second now, uh, we're gonna see that. All right, so the first default layer, uh, sorry, the first default level, as you can see, composed of uh, a camera, a light, and other stuff. So we're gonna go to file, a new level and we're gonna create an empty level and we're gonna start importing our uh, project inside Unreal Engine using the data smith icon here so we're gonna hit the data smith and we're gonna go to our uh, data smith folder that we have uh, created and start for example with the villa and we're gonna see uh, an interface that shows where we uh, ask Unreal Engine is asking us where should I save your content, uh, your files inside the content. So I'm gonna right click and create a new folder, name it as our project Modern Villa, and hit OK. And now we're gonna get a few options from Data Smith. Uh, that shows importing the geometry yes material and texture why not sure and no need to import the lights and cameras or animation if any at this time because we want to start this from scratch below that there's the options for the light map resolution I'm gonna talk to you about the light map resolution in details and our next video with the lighting uh, tutorial so for now let's keep it as it is uh, and hit import so we have imported now our uh, villa model on the right side here and the world outri outliner uh, panel as you can see there's a global exposure I prefer to delete this uh, element from all of our model once we export it because we're gonna add actually uh, a post process volume and we can adjust the exposure and that volume uh, on top of all the pro, uh, the files. So I'm gonna hit delete. As you can see now, if we go to this panel here, we have a few of the options that I would like to share with you what they are actually. So uh, some of them are straightforward, like um, show a, f a frame per second. If you show the frame per second, this is actually important as 
as long as you have your frame per second above 30 that's a good thing for you if it's below 30 or 25 then we should start to look for which object is actually causing this uh, slowness so right now it shows 120 which is good uh, a lot of these stuff we're gonna go uh, in details also later on the perspectives which straightforward shows the same thing that you can see in on your modeling software and the let shows how you want to see your object so I'm gonna choose unlet now or oh, actually it doesn't make any difference and the, but it actually shows an unlet if there is no light it will still show you uh, the uh, the models alright so also show you can see that this will enable and disables a lot of the elements that are not actually available now in our scene and uh, move rotate and scale the same thing actually the uh, options for them uh, I believe as we have in our uh, modeling softwares and also uh, our uh, grid and the snap tool and also the camera speed for now let's just import our uh, project as we have exported from 3d max and once we you do the import for the full uh, elements that you exported from 3d max we're going to continue on our next video and how to start building up the lighting so we can start to have a better look of our project to start proceeding with the next step after that so I hope you get uh, this part clear and if you have any questions please uh, write it down in the comments below and I would like to answer them for you. So thank you very much and see you in the next video.